Here's a great little project to try for Christmas as a gift. You'll need a piece of card which is about 15 centimeters by 11 centimeters inches. I'm going to cut this one in half. Now I'm going to cover the front to make a title and the back can just be covered in some other Christmas colors like so. And then put that down into the corner of the figgy pudding piece. I like to sort of slide it around into place which helps the glue spread a little bit and I want to do the same with the other piece as well we're going to ink around the edges of them now in between inside of these, these are going to be a little booklet so you'll be able to open it up and inside there will be some papers and it's going to be a note booklet so I'm just going to use plain old A4 paper I'm going to take this one here cut a curly label punch build up a bit of a scene. So you've seen me use this one. I'm actually going to put it this way. So in so punch out one of these and you can cut it in half long ways and attach it. So just run a little bit of glue. Slides, and I'm just going to use a bit of organza ribbon. And just tie off on the side here. So then we have a little note star going. You might want to just twist it a little bit more to get it to sit. Now, I'm not going to make these too fancy, I'm quite happy with it just looking like that. So we need to get the holes punched. Now there is a tool, and it's called a cropper And I bought this one a long time ago because it allows you to put a 12 inch piece of paper and be able to punch right at the beginning. Excuse me, because when I punch through, I've got some split rings that I'm going to use to put it all together. So there's a small sized one. So for these I'm going to put both of them together so I can punch them at the same time. And you just put it in underneath your cropper dial. And this can punch through quite thick materials. Okay, so there's my two punch marks there. Really easy too. And then the split pins can fit in to hold it together. I don't want to put them in just yet because I have the paper here that I also want to be able to put in my little notepad, notepad sorry. so I'm going to line the paper up with the very first lot that I punched and using a pen just mark off where those holes are and then again lining up my paper I can use my cropper dial to go through the entire wad. Like so. So now I want to put in a split pin for the back. Put my paper stack in. So it's quite a bit of paper there. And the first one. And you can add in more paper if you wish. And then I can do the same here. Once it's all lined up from the back, through my paper stack, and in through the front. And the final thing to do is to dress up with the ribbon at the side. So taking some colours that are the same, just 
just tie off into a knot or just once, I find once is usually enough too and trim okay and then when you're finished you have your little notebook this is in there so there you have it my idea for a fun little gift notebook for the holidays thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.